and people are staring at me. So for those that are joining, this is EDS Wellness's Just 5 Minutes Cloud Days Once a Month. I am Kendra Nielsen-Miles. I am the executive director and founder of EDS Wellness. And I was just house hunting, and the class started at 2.30. So we're going to go ahead and get started. And I just pulled over on the side of the road in the parking lot of a bowling alley and a, a red lobster, and hoping people aren't staring at me as I'm doing just five minutes in the car. But we're all in the car, and we have to learn how to like move even just a little bit in the car. And uh, so that's what we're going to do. So I figured my kids love to do Johan Stretching Club in the car. So we're just going to do a little bit of movement and what you can do in the car. Obviously, I can't see you. You can see me. So always make sure that you check with a provider, that you make sure you know what's safe for you. Um, these are just tips and tricks. I can't dis discern exactly what everybody's limitations are, mobility levels. This is just a class to help us come together and be motivated. And sometimes we need to move in the car. So with that caveat and disclaimer, make sure that you always ask a provider Make sure you know what, your state, what is safe for you before doing anything. These are just not blanket statements that everybody should be able to do, but you need to take it with a grain of salt and do what's right for you based on your mobility level. So I am a certified health education specialist. I'm also a yoga instructor. I am studying to finish, working to finish and studying my restorative exercise certification this year. And I also just took the professional patient advocacy board certification. So that's who I am and what we're doing. So with that being said, I would like everybody just to get, uh, wherever you are, just get comfortable. If you're in a car like me, you can um, just stop and be seated. Or if you're sitting in a chair at home, that would be good. You could also be sitting in bed. So just get seated however you're most comfortable. A lot of what we're going to do just for five minutes is movements that you can do in bed um, or in a car or in a chair. So just make sure that you modify according to your mobility level and based upon where you are. So just go ahead and get your eyes, uh, slowly drift your eyes closed. Start just taking deep breaths if you want to or just breathing on your own, not necessarily at a certain pace. Just go slowly or take deeper breaths, just trying to be mindful of the moment and where you are right now. You can close your eyes or just focus on one spot. And as you bring your attention inward and your focus inward, just taking your breath a little bit deeper, as you are most comfortable. Being grateful for being in the moment as we are right now. Just taking a moment for yourself, wherever you are, even if you're on the side of the road like I am in a parking lot of a red lobster. And then as you gently, slowly are focusing uh, inward and where you are at this present moment, Start feeling where your sit bones are, on the seat, or in your chair, or on your bed, or on the floor. Just take a few more deep breaths, inhaling and exhaling at your own pace, slowly. If you want to, you're welcome to bring your hands around your rib cage to feel the expansion of your breath inward and outward. You want to make sure that you feel it like a balloon is expanding all the way around, not just inside, but outside. Uh, expanding around from your rib cage out to the side and around the back. You want to feel the expansion all the way around like a balloon. So let's take a deep inhale together. And then you can exhale it through your nose or sigh it out through your mouth. Inhale again. And then exhale. Let's do that one more time. Inhale. And then exhale. And then also take a moment to be mindful of if you get a little bit dizzy when you're inhaling deep like I do. Maybe not inhale so deep. Sometimes deep breathing is great. It's great for calming the autonomic nervous system. It's great for calming the body and the mind. It's great for connecting the body and the mind. But sometimes when we deep breathe deep, it can make us a little bit dizzy. So if you feel yourself getting a little bit dizzy, just back off. Don't breathe so deep. Um, and maybe just take shallower breaths. Um, until you get more comfortable. So let's do that one more time. You can keep your hands on your ribcage if they are like I am. So you make sure that you have the expansion of your ribcage all the way around. Or just put your hands down on your lap, wherever they're most comfortable, or to your side. So inhaling again together with your eyes open or closed. And then exhale. One more time. Inhale. And then exhale. 
And let's just slowly roll our shoulders back. A couple back, roll fold backwards, and then you can also take it forward. And then maybe take your neck side to side, just slowly, slowly to the right, and then to the left. Don't go too far. Slowly to the right, and then to the left. Let's take a couple more shoulder rolls. Backwards, and then forwards. And then a couple more next to the neck stretches slightly to the side, to the side. And if you're comfortable, you can also take a U-shape around. I would not go back, but you're hyperextending the neck. I would just go forward like this, gentle. If you don't feel anything, don't keep stretching until you feel it. You want to make sure that you're in proper range of motion, that you're not hyperextending or pushing too far. So a couple more neck rolls. If you've had neck surgery, you probably want to back off and not do these and make sure that you know what's safe for you. A couple more neck stretches to the right. And if you want to, you can take your left arm and reach it to the side a little bit so that you feel a little bit more of a stretch down the side. And then come back up to neutral. And then go to the left side. And then take your right arm and reach down to the, to the right side. And then just tip your neck a little bit to the left, feeling that stretch a little bit more along here. And then a couple last shoulder rolls. Back and then forward. And then I want you to take your hand. I want you just to slowly open and close your fist. Open and close your palm of your hands to really try to, you don't want to hyperextend your hands too much. You just want to open and close. I'll invite some movement, some blood flow into the hands. A lot of times our hands are very cramped. They hurt. And even though moving them sometimes can hurt and, and they might be really stiff, moving them just a little bit is okay. So maybe roll around your wrists just gently. Bring some movement, some blood flow, oxygen to the muscles that are around the joints, the, the ligaments also, just gently. And if this hurts, then just back off. Do it just a little bit. Just bring some movement to the wrists and to the fingers, just opening and closing. And then I want you, as best as you possibly can, your hands to the side, making sure that you're in proper alignment wherever you are, that your neck, that your ear is overneath, over your shoulder, that your head, I guess your head is overneath, over your top of your shoulder, that your ear and your shoulder are aligned with your hip as best as possible in a seated position. There's somebody walking by. And we're going to take a deep inhale. And as best as you possibly can, reach your hands above you. And if you can, if you're in a car like I am, just reach, hold on to the, to the ceiling. Just press the ceiling forward. Press it above you. Let's bring our hands back down. So take a deep inhale, and then reach your hands above you. If you can reach them all the way above you, that's great. But if you're in a car like me and you've got a, a ceiling, I want you just to press it like you're pressing it away, making sure that your neck is not hyperextended, that your shoulders and everything is in proper alignment, that nothing's uncomfortable. But, or you can just reach above you and do a good morning stretch. But if you're in a car like I am, just press the ceiling away from you. And then bring your arms back down. Let's do that again. Inhale, arms up, all the way up. Do a good morning stretch. We'll press the ceiling above you. Inhaling. And then exhaling back down. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, arms up, all the way, doing a good morning stretch. And then we're pressing the ceiling above you. And then down. Now we're going to do one of my favorite stretches. We're going to actually take our hand, and we're just going to reach it behind you, kind of like you're stretching now. Don't, this is uncomfortable for your shoulder, don't do it. Don't stretch it to the point that you are uncomfortable, that it might not be safe for you. But I do this a lot of times if I'm achy in the car. So we're gonna just reach our arms behind us. Kind of gives a good stretch right here. Making sure that you're mindful of your shoulder joint, that you're not pushing too far. Sometimes I take my fingers and I kind of just press on the top of the ceiling of a car. And then bring it back down. Now reach your left arm back up. And if you're sitting and you can reach all the way up, I would just reach one arm at a time all the way to the top. You can reach back if you want to if you're in a car. I am only doing this because I actually have resistance. And I also know my proper range of motion and when not to go too far to um, hurt my shoulder joint. So you want to make sure that if you're not aware of what's 
proper for your shoulder that you ask a provider, but that you don't go too far. Or just reach your hand up as much as possible. You can also just press the ceiling up one at a time like we did before. So if you are reaching your hand back, just reach back as comfortable. You don't want it to be uncomfortable. Anything out of that is uncomfortable, back off. Breathing deep. And then bring your arm down. Let's do it one more time. Inhale, arm up, pressing the ceiling or reaching back if you can. And then exhale down. And then inhale, right, left arm up, press the ceiling or reach above you or reach back. This shoulder's a little bit more stiff, that's for sure. Breathing. And then reach it down. And then I want you to take a couple more shoulder rolls. Maybe take your right arm across your chest gently, making sure that your wrist and hand are in proper alignment. Just really making sure that you're not up here, that you're not too far, that you're just gently reaching across. You don't want to be pulling too much. If you don't feel anything, then back off. You just want a gentle stretch across the front of the shoulder blade, the shoulder joint. And then back off. Maybe pull around your shoulder joint. Then bring your left arm up across, keeping your wrist and your hand and not pushing and taking, taking with your other arm. You want to pull it back a little bit, but you don't want to press it too far. And just hold it and breathe. And if anything's uncomfortable, back off. And you don't want to keep going and keep pressing just because you don't feel it. You want to make sure that you're still in a safe range of motion and you just hold it there. And if anything's uncomfortable, you have shoulder issues, uh, more subluxations, dislocations, don't do it. Back off. This is not the stretch for you or you need to ask provider first. And then bring it down. And then take a couple of rolls. And we're going to do one leg at a time, and then that's pretty much going to end our just five minutes for the day. So what I would like you to do is take an inhale, and I want you to reach your leg up, kind of like holding it to you. Let's see if you can see it. I want you to reach your leg up. Just hold it in. Be mindful of your alignment, making sure you're back is straight, that your pelvis is in neutral. And then reach your outer leg up and pull it into your chest. You can also do this laying down. Uh, if you're laying down, it's the same thing if you were laying supine and you brought your knee into your chest one at a time. Inhale, and then bring your leg back down. And bring your left leg in up to your chest. Hold it in. Again, you can do this laying down on your bed. This would be laying supine and you bring your chest, your leg into your chest. And hold it in. And then bring it down. And then let's bring our left right leg in again. Hold it into your chest, being mindful that your neck and your back are in proper alignment. And then just roll around your ankle. Can't see my ankle, but just roll around your ankle, your foot. Flex and point your toes. Bring some movement and some blood flow and oxygen to your feet and to your ankles. Roll around your ankles. Flex and point your toes again. And then put your right leg down. Bring that to your left leg, left leg in. Hold it into your chest. Roll around your ankle. Flex and point your toes. Roll around again. And then put your leg down. And we're going to actually bring both of our legs in. If you can balance and if you have something to support you, I want you to, or if you're laying down, you bring both legs into your chest and just hold it in. Feel like you're doing a almost a happy baby or a modified position in yoga where you're laying on the ground and you've got your legs into your chest. Hold it in, maybe rock back and forth if you're on your back. Just rock back and forth, bring some movement into your back and your hips release in your lower back. Hold your legs in. And then bring it back down. And then you're welcome to do a happy baby uh, when you're on your back and you have your feet in the same position and you're holding on to your big toes if you want. Or just lay yourself down, relax your whole body again. If you're sitting up, you can just relax your head back on the chair rest. If you're laying down, just relax your body all back into just Shavasana. Just take a couple more deep breaths together. So wherever you are, just put yourself back into a uh, modified meditation type pose or a Shavasana laying down, however is most comfortable for you. But just slowly bring your eyes closed again, being mindful of your breath. Take a last minute to just focus where you are now. Focus on being grounded literally and figuratively to either your bed, the chair that you're sitting on, the chair in your car that you're sitting on like me. Just making sure that you're properly supported to be completely relaxed. Take the last moment to just focus on inhaling 
and exhaling. Being grateful for being able to move for just five minutes today. Like I said, with your eyes inhaled and with your eyes open up and closed. So you take an inhale and then exhale. Also have your hand on your chest if you want to on your belly, maybe one on your heart, so one on your heart, one on your hand. Take an inhale. And then exhale. Inhale again. Hold it at the top. And then exhale, sigh it out. One last time. Inhale. And then exhale. Roll your fingers around. Roll your ankles around. Roll your shoulders and your neck around one last time. And thank you, thank you, everybody who uh, joined with us today for the last, for this Just 5 Minutes class. I think this is class 21 or 22, but thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time.